All right, let's All get right. on. <laughs> let's talk about the Marty Friedman interview. That's where we started. Let's get it. We're gonna watch this Dude. just eight minute clip. Make sure you check the, check the full interview out after the podcast. Here we go. Gone a long way. Eight minute. How clip. much different is the popular music? I'm popular music in Japan from a harmonic standpoint, like the oh, chord wow. progressions and stuff. Because the stuff that I've listened to is way more sophisticated. Extremely. Yeah. So talk about that. All well, right. How, and why? But both, like, All right. how is it different and why is it different? It's a great question, um, and I'm going to give you the very generalized version okay. answer of it. You look at American, very generalized. By the way, I just want to say I love it in this interview with Marty, like, as he's explaining theory because Rick knows, like, a lot of theory, and it's just so funny because he, like, explains it, like, if he's teaching, and then you see Rick going, like, I already know. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed that yeah. during the interview. It was, yeah, it was funny. He, he's explaining it, like, like. A bit better than me, but almost like I would. Like, uh. <laughs> yeah, I just explain like, it so we can understand. Yeah, I, I feel like Marty's explaining it for the audience. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. I, that's how I felt. I was like, wow, Marty's a good teacher. And, and Rick's and like, he doesn't who, even who, think Rick's he is. Like, who gives a fuck about the audience? It's just get, go, go, come on, get on with the point. <laughs> so the songs that I hear in America are based on maybe four chords, and they kind of. <laughs> Nice tuning. But anyway, um, they're based on those kind of four chords in some fashion, whether whatever the rhythm is, right. there's, there's the one, there's one, the four, five, five and six. In, in different orders. Then you go. Right. <laughs> now, that's the chord system that Ryan was just referring to, where the guy said, like, go in the key and play the same number of chords. So you have, like, this chord system for every, whenever you shift the scale up. So when people say the key of A, you have that set of seven notes. The key of B, you have that set of seven notes. So they actually have numbers for them, like we were just saying, one through seven. So that's what they're talking about, because each of those notes represent a chord is the easiest way to explain it. It's a little bit more yeah. complicated than that. But and, and if you want an example, just listen to any Blink-182 song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, can, you, can you turn the original sound on? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear the guitar. Yeah, the original sound was not on. My bad. Thank you. That's that seems to be the extent of the chord progressions. Yeah. Which is nice because anyone can sing over it and yep. anyone can it'd be easy to make a melody over it and a hook. So that's that's one thing. I'm not saying one thing is better than the other. It's a matter of taste. Yep. There's no good, there's Love no bad. This guy. In Japan there's a lot more chords to go from, let's take a chorus, verses can be even longer, and bridges, but a chorus might have 16 chords in it. Okay. They're all basic chords, but they're kind of like the chords that you showed me. I don't know if this, this is probably yeah, a hundred songs 16 over chords. There, I mean, they're all basic a... chords. <laughs> <laughs> But there were only uh, 11. I, I'm not going to lie, though. Like, after watching this interview, I had so much respect for Marty Freeman. Like, even yeah, more. Dude. I went and listened to music by him afterwards. I'm like, man, I never gave this guy a chance. I was like, I got to go yeah. listen to more. He's, he's I got that Japanese humility, too. Yeah. I realized most of the interviews I watched with him were Japanese in Japanese that were translated. I'm like, oh, this is what he sounds like when he speaks English. <laughs> 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 a fan of him forever, but I never heard him just talk. Sick kind of chord progression, a cliche chord progression that would fit nicely in a Japanese song, and you might have something like. Oh, yes. That's one turnaround. <laughs> And he's absolutely right. So when we went to go learn the auto song, I was shocked because I thought it was going to be a lot easier because I was going to be a separate, simple progression. We covered like the first minute and a half. And he's absolutely yeah. right. It's like the change is like the way that they're playing the chorus, like every turnaround, which I, I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. What's Rick? Uh, first of all, that's absolutely true. All the choruses in like all of the music that I listen to in Japan go on way longer than the four chord progression. And I love it. It's one of the reasons that that J rock and J pop sound so different to me. You know, yeah. like, I, you know how I was talking last week about Nemophila changing their lyrics from chorus to chorus? Well, it's like the chorus itself is generally in their songs is not like a repeating four line chorus. It'll be like yeah. maybe two lines with a change at the end of the second line meaning that the two lines that exist are different from each other in the, the, the chorus the, the melody is continuous but the the lyrics aren't 
It, it, well, yeah, even, even the <laughs> even the the amount of times that they play the instrumentation, though, like if you're gonna do like let's say a four chord chord uh, part, right? But you're gonna play that four times for the chorus. That almost never exists in like you know like a bandmate song or an a feel song where they're gonna play it <clears> maybe <throat> twice, but the one that that the the two lines are extended longer because there are more chords inserted into it. Like the actual line itself mm-hmm. is yes. longer. I have I have a thing here um surfing a song wave sounds like the Beatles I hear what you're saying the till there was you like that progression where it literally just follows the lyrics but that's that uh what Marty said there when you're writing a four chord progression you feel like you need to write the lyrics to fit in with that but if you let the lyrics and the story of the song guide the actual progression like Mm. it's a human talking you know, the because when melody, you talk, so. you don't talk in little poetic patterns that are all pre preset in what length they're going to be and everything. Like this style is more like following the natural, you know, train of thought of a person telling a story where the chords are going wherever the uh, the story and the lyrics and melody need them to go. So it can be more of like a journey instead of repeating these little blocks of chords two or three times and then moving on to the next part and then coming back to that later, you know? Does anyone yes. feel like Marty Friedman is the older version of Wave in the future? <laughs> like, Seriously? As in the way, That's like, the nicest talks. thing anyone's ever said to me. Because <laughs> the way that he, like, We gotta call Megadeth. The way that he, like, delivers, the way he talks, I was like, this reminds me of Wave for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> wow! If you watch but Ray's I, videos yeah. explaining stuff, it, it was very, it's very similar in the way that they explain I, I, things. I, and I, I totally agree with what you were just saying, Wave. Like I think that that is like the, the, the use of the word journey perfect for that because it does feel way more like a journey rather than a cycle, right? Like it feels yeah, like a progression yeah. rather than a yeah. cycle. Yeah, nicely said. That's, but that's very simple, right? Right. In the 70s, that's what it was like here in America, yes, too. that's right. You do that. And, and so uh, I just mentioned course, the Beatles. The are different. And there's a lot of um, key mods. And I love <clears throat> key mods. So they say you Ooh. end this chord progression of this <laughs> cliche song where you just... But he doesn't know any theory. <laughs> Right. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> he just wants to say that in front of Rick so that Rick doesn't judge him. But I yeah. think Rick is I think Rick is judging him anyway. Rick no. is judging everybody when he's watching this. Well it's like <laughs> it's like what Rick said to um Hawkins, right? He did he did say to Hawkins, he's like, I know you know more way than you're telling. No more mm. than what you're telling, you know, because Hawkins said the same yeah. thing. I don't know much. Hey guys, thank you for watching. The Gaijin guys this year are really trying to up our game in the Japanese music do space, so we really rely on our patreon supporters and our members over here on youtube so thank you so much so if you guys can help consider becoming a patreon supporter or a member and you also get exclusive group reactions from all of the guys stay awesome everyone see you in the next one see you